Formerly, following countless Buddhas, I fully trod the right path of the subtle, profound, and wonderful Dharma, which is hard to find, hard to see, and hard to understand. After pursuing this career throughout millions of eons, I discovered the fruit on the terrace of enlightenment and was able to perfectly understand. Like other Buddhas in the universe, I recognized the characteristics of every nature and form and mastered the doctrine of innumerable meanings, such as emerging, settling, changing, and vanishing. This Dharma is unutterable, inexpressible, and impossible to explain in words, which are only signs. It is beyond the realm of terms and concepts. Among all the other living beings, none can understand this Buddha Dharma except the Bodhisattvas, whose resolve and faith are firm. The Dharma of the Buddhas is extremely subtle and profound, inscrutable and faultless, and beyond reckoning or discussion. I know the marks and meanings of this Dharma, as do Buddhas of other ages across the universe. Let it be known that the teachings of the Buddhas do not differ. One should thus display great trust and faith in the scripture of the Lotus Blossom of the Wonderful Dharma, also known as the Sadharma Pundarika Sutra. I speak no falsehood. I preach the highest truth. I employ tactful, expedient, skillful means to explain the Dharma to the world at large. I thus attract living beings who have myriad attachments and enable them to attain escape from their suffering. Listen carefully. The Dharma that the Buddhas have discovered is preached to living beings using countless skillful means. I thoroughly know the thoughts of living beings, the nature of their several desires, their past helpful and harmful conduct, and the various paths that they are following. Knowing these things, I resort to manifold expedient devices, using parables, phrases, illustrations, and reasonings, to thereby cause all beings to rejoice. There are those who are continually entangled in the thicket of sectarian views, and who delight in petty rules, arguing it is thus and it is not thus. Such men and women are greedily attached to existence or non-existence, and fail to tread the subtle, profound Buddha path. They do not hear the Buddha call, and are tormented by a multitude of woes. For these vexed living beings, I say, put an end to your trouble. I teach them a difficult path toward nirvana and a glimpse of Buddha wisdom. But I never said to such beings, you all shall attain the Buddha path. The reason I never told them is that the time for saying it had not yet arrived. But now is a fit opportunity and precisely the very time I have resolved to explicitly and definitively preach the Mahayana Great Vehicle Dharma, also known as what really is. Within the Buddha lands in the universe, there is the Dharma of only one vehicle, Apart from the compassionate, tactful, expedient teachings which use provisional phrases and expressions to describe a diversity of vehicles, the ultimate reason Buddhas appear in the world is to proclaim this one great vehicle teaching, thus fully revealing the Buddha knowledge, the Buddha wisdom. This is my true cause and aim. Let it be known that I formerly took a vow wishing to cause all living beings to be just like me, no different. In keeping with my former vow, my wish is now fulfilled, for I hereby share the complete Buddha knowledge, leading all to enter the Buddha path. Thus I reveal and proclaim that all existences, from their very origins, are already of the nature 
of nirvana. Knowing this and following me, my spiritual sons and daughters, the bodhisattvas, in a future age, shall all be able to become Buddhas. Remove all doubt and uncertainty. All the world-honored ones, all of them, expound the truth of the one great vehicle Dharma. For countless eons in the past, incalculable Buddhas have not differed. They have all preached the various holy teachings by means of illustrations, reasonings, parables, and innumerable tactful powers. Those world-honored ones all eventually proclaim the one vehicle dharma and lead untold billions of living beings to enter the Buddha path. The great holy saints, knowing the deepest thoughts of all beings and what they most desire in their hearts, compassionately reveal the prime meaning. If any, even with distracted thoughts, express homage by reciting just once Nama Buddha. They have all attained the Buddha path. If any hear this great vehicle Dharma, even if they have only heard the name of this scripture and pay homage to it, they have all attained the Buddha path. Future Buddhas of number incalculable shall likewise preach the Dharma by resort to infinite skillful means, educating living beings that they may enter into the Buddha knowledge. Of those who hear the Dharma so preached, not one shall fail to attain Buddhahood. Every Buddha's former original fixed vow is as follows. By the Buddha path which I walk, I desire universally to lead living beings to attain this path as well. Though the Buddhas of future ages expound countless schools of doctrine, teaching numberless gateways to the Dharma, they shall, in fact, be doing it for the sake of the one vehicle. The Buddhas, the world-honored ones, know that nothing has an independent existence. No being or thing has its own separate permanent nature or body. All beings and things are inconceivable and mysterious. Knowing this, the Buddhas, who emerge from the Buddha seeds by virtue of causes and conditions, reveal the one vehicle. They reveal the secure stability of the great vehicle Dharma, ever abiding in the world. Having awakened on the wisdom terrace of the Buddha path, they skillfully preach that every phenomenon abides in the reality of suchness. The present numberless Buddhas in the universe, honored by men and women by expressions of homage, appear for the benefit, relief, and ease of all beings, ultimately proclaiming this one vehicle dharma of supreme enlightenment. Those Buddhas of the present age who have awakened to supreme enlightenment skillfully demonstrate various kinds of paths. They do so, in fact, for the sake of the one, single, blessed Buddha path. I know the deeds and conducts of the multitudinous beings, that which they are mindful of in their deepest thoughts, the nature of their desires, and the power of their vigor and zeal. I know the sharpness or dullness of their spiritual faculties. By explaining a variety of causes and conditions, skillfully using narratives, words, and phrases, and by resort to expedient devices, I tactfully teach according to their individual inclinations. Wisely knowing the dispositions and desires of men and women, I put them at ease by preaching various Dharma gateways. Then I rouse them to enter the Buddha path, causing them all to gain joy and gladness. I see the sons and daughters who aspire to the supreme enlightenment, who pay homage and draw near to the Buddhas with reverent deferential thought, having heard and understood the use of many-sided skillful means. The reason a Buddha emerges is to expound the Buddha wisdom, the excellent scripture of the lotus blossom of the wonderful Dharma, thus revealing 
the supreme enlightenment. I, joyfully and courageously, free from hesitation, in the midst of the bodhisattvas, frankly casting aside my expedient devices, now only proclaim the unexcelled one-vehicle Buddha path. As you bodhisattvas hear this Buddha Dharma, any remaining doubts will be removed. Keep and protect this subtle, profound Dharma, this wonderful Dharma, this mystery of all the Buddhas. As opportunity serves, by resort to myriad skillful means and in accord with what is appropriate for the situation, the Buddhas teach the Dharma. Such is the mastership of the leaders, the teachers of the ages. Therefore, rejoice greatly in your hearts, knowing that you yourselves shall become Buddhas.